show you a few things about editing on the fly when you've got clients in the room. So I'm going to go ahead and play the project back. Now sometimes when you're playing back or we're getting feedback from the director or the producer, they might want to swap these two shots up front around. Maybe this noise was a bit too loud and possibly we're going to lose this whoosh here because that's not really relevant. Usually I'd go through and make all the adjustments and then we'd have another watch through. But in Final Cut Pro, as I'm playing back, someone's commented they want to swap these first two shots, so we'll just do that. And then you can see the player still moving and this sound effect here is probably a little bit loud, so I'm just going to drop the volume. And then this whoosh here, I know we're not sure about that, so I'm just going to disable that one. And then actually there's two shots here that I want to swap that I'd forgotten to swap earlier. And the great thing about this is that I can be working really quickly, making changes even without stopping playback.